Horsepower Feed supports racing broadcast so that you can enjoy the game. Grey overcast conditions as we enter the city of palaces for the 2023 revival of the Maharaja's Cup which has been upgraded to Group 2 status this year. Now let's take a quick look at the small field which comprised of some seriously talented horses. The front-running last start winner Shubhankar had the young upcoming talent Vivek Ji to partner him. The Indian 2000 Guineas winner, A Star Is Born, was running in Mysore for the first time in his career and had his permanent partner Suraj Naradu to guide him. A super talented customer in Santorino was back at the games after a longish layoff and looked raring to go. Yet, the short-priced, anti-post favourite was Ivaldo, who had disappointed in his last start, but looked poised to make quick amends, as this race was his main target in Mysore. He jumped out well last time, but, you know, was uh, was very too, was too way too keen. And uh, I hope it's not the same case today. I hope it doesn't rain. Even though it's looking a bit cloudy, I hope it doesn't rain. He doesn't like soft going much. Number two, Ivaldo closing in at 10 to 7 on, followed by number four, Santorino at 4 to 1. They're off for the Maharaja's Cup Grade 2 2023. They have 1600 meters ahead of them. It's the Grey Shubankar, leads by two lengths. General Atlantic is racing second, followed next by Santorino. Ivaldo comes to next a break of three lengths behind us, a star is born. Approaching the 1200 meters, Shubankar in the hands of G. Vivek leads by the best part of two lengths. General Atlantic under Akash Agarwal is racing second. Around the far turn, it's Santorino in the hands of Anthony Raj is racing next, followed by Ivaldo, the favorite. In the hands of Akshay Kumar is racing fourth and a star is born as patiently ridden by champion jockey Suraj Naradu as the field of five runners approach the 600 meters. Shubankar leads by three lengths. The favorite Evaldo has made a quick progress to race second. Santorino's next. They turn for home with 400 meters to travel. Shubankar has beaten Santorino and the center ranges up. And here's Evaldo with all guns blazing in the center of the racetrack. Followed next in the field by a star as born. Inside the final 150 meters, it's Santorino from Evaldo. Evaldo on the outside is just the neck up in front of Santorino's not giving up. It's Evaldo from Santorino. Evaldo on the outside from Santorino to lift the Maharaja's Cup great. To 2023. Well, we didn't like the ground for sure, like because I think they haven't got the grass <coughs> and it rained down seriously, and that could be one of the reasons you were struggling virtually in the straight. Santorino is always a good horse. I mean, he had a minor setback, now he's come out of it. I think you can get to hear of him more, a lot more than before. I've got three races planned and I'm lined up for him in Chennai. I don't think so. I'll be racing in the centre. So we run the Gindi Gold Cup and let's see how, how, how he fares. He's always you know, horse and he always run a lovely race. And last three, four times he was not in form, but last time when I won in Bangalore, he won impressively. So according to see, according to that form, if you see, definitely he's a good chance. And Tiger was a little bit shifty, so he's just feeling difficult, but he's managed to win because he got a big heart. Uh, I thought I'd fight because she was carrying lightweight and I was top weight, but uh, he got a big heart, so he knows how to fight. <laughs> <laughs> 